I do think that in Pakistan, mein, you know, uh, you know, based on your conversation, I I do uh, have a question for you that, um, you know, living in Pakistan and living in this society, this collectivistic society, do you think, um, uh, you know, um, what would be the societal implications? Um, of widespread screen addiction and how can communities at large like address this issue collectively? Uh, we have seen that already. Uh, what we have seen in chemical addictions, in drug addiction and alcoholism and the uh, detrimental effects that it has on society at large, we have seen that it has actually damaged the social fabric. And right now, if we talk about uh, drug addiction and alcoholism, some eight to nine million people are suffering from it, which means eight to nine families are suffering from, uh, from this uh, addiction. So we have seen, so the effects of screen addiction will be similar. Uh, and the larger scale uh, on the society. And of course, the society can do so much for it. Uh, we can design strategies, we can uh, develop digital literacy curriculums and can add it to the curriculum. So uh, there are so many uh, basically uh, things that we can work upon. So let's, let's start that what can the government or what can the society uh, or what know, can even you know, schools and educational institutes? Or what can what would exactly. they role? Education issue, they can play a very good role. Even work environment, they can, for example, let, let's talk about okay, how can uh uh how can we break the cycle of addiction at a workplace or at a education institution? So, first of all, if we an educate institutional and educational institution or a workplace. First of all, they have to set clear boundaries. So they can establish specific time and places for screen use that can help manage and reduce overall screen time. For instance, designating screen free zones. Uh, even at home, like you can you can uh, declare your bedroom as a screen free zone. And times, for example, during meals or dining table or before bedtime, uh, can encourage more mindful use of technology. And there was, in fact, a study published in the health psychology found that individuals who set clear boundaries around their digital devices use reported lower levels of screen addiction and improved sleep quality. So you can declare a screen uh, free zones and then screen free times. And these uh, setting these boundaries very clearly, and then conveying and uh, these boundaries to the people involved at home, children, at workplace, employees, at education institution, students. Then another technique that we can use is that we use technology mindfully, being intentional about screen use, and it involves engaging with technology in a way that adds value to your life without leading to compulsive behaviors. Techniques such as uh, monitoring screen time with a built-in smartphone. Now we have this, we have all built-in smartphone features or apps can increase awareness and control over usage. Uh, there was a research uh, on that in the Journal of Behavior Addiction, and they demonstrated that mindfulness-based mindfulness digital detox intervention significantly reduced compulsive screen use and enhanced emotional dreaming among participants. Then uh, we can also schedule regular breaks. For example, taking regular breaks from screens, especially during long work or study periods can prevent eye strain. It can reduce mental fatigue and help maintain focus. So there is a technique which is called, uh, I think the Pomodoro technique, which involves working for 25 minutes followed by, followed by a five minutes break. So it is an example that has been shown to improve productivity and well-being. And then a study was conducted on this technique, Pomodoro techniques, and uh, it highlighted the benefits of short breaks for reducing the negative effects of prolonged screen use or mental health. Then uh, another, uh, methodology that we can engage in, like I said earlier, engage in alternative activities, finding hobbies and activities that do not involve screens can redirect our attention and reduce reliance on digital devices for entertainment or stress relief. You'll be still using those devices for work and for, for educational purposes and for creative uh, purposes, but for uh, you will not be spending time on screen for, for relief, for stress relief, for entertainment purposes, if we find alternative activities like hobbies. So 
And engaging in those activities has been linked to improve mood and decrease need for screen-based stimulation. Jisko mm -hmm. uh, uh, Leisure Sciences ne publish bhi kiya tha, ek uh, study unne publish ki thi ki kaise jo alternative activities hain, jo hobbies hain ya physical other activities, enjoyable activities, jo involve nahi karti screen time ko ya screen ko, uh, they have shown a lot of improvement in people with uh, screen addiction. फिर हम डिजिटल डिटॉक्स चैलेंजेस रख सकते हैं जहां पे इंडिविजुअल्स जो है इंटेंशनली अपने डिजिटल डिवाइसेस से फॉर अ सेट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम रेस्ट ले लेते हैं वो छोड़ देते हैं तो वो भी डिजिटल हैबिट्स को हमारे जो है वो इंप्रूव कर सकते हैं और ये जो चैलेंजेस होते हैं दे दे आल्सो प्रोवाइड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन पर्सनल टेक्नोलॉजी यूज रिकॉग्नाइज एडिक्टिव पैटर्न्स एंड एस्टैब्लिश हेल्दी रिलेशनशिप विद द स्क्रीन्स so ye tamam phir agar in mein se kuch bhi kaam nahi karta then we can seek professional help if needed uh, for individual those are struggling with severe screen addictions uh, seeking professional help can be crucial uh, therapist like uh, jaise maine pehle bhi bataya cbt uh, cognitive behavioral therapist they they can help in this regard addiction professionals addiction scientists addiction psychologists they can so then we can seek even professional help amazing um sir isi se mera ek aur sawal hai you know in in pakistan we do um have realized based on our conversation here ke uh you know people can be vulnerable they can be uh you know in based on the cultural context based on our uh you know setting cultural setting hamare you know we we can have uh, in different factors uh, linked with um, how we address screen addiction and how we deal with it um so i do have um, a question ke hum individual level ke upar um what can we do and are there any helplines available uh, jahan par uh, you know ya hotlines available for pakistanis um jo ke you know they can call and they can have like this information session um about screen addiction or uh, you know if they if they think if they have self diagnosed themselves ke acha sahi hai mujhe jo hai na screen addiction ho rahi hai ya mujhe bahut zyada excessive screen time hai or it's very frequent and i'm not able to control it um and i don't understand where you know to go and um, who to find uh, and you know i don't know what i'm doing so what would be the next step of this person actually uh अगर हम अपने कल्चर को देखें वी लिव इन अ कलेक्टिविस्टिक कल्चर जहाँ पे वेस्ट में इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक कल्चर है तो यहाँ पे बेसिकली अनफॉर्चुनेटली uh, कोई इतने ज़्यादा हॉटलाइंस या हेल्पलाइंस तो नहीं है मेंटल हेल्थ इज स्टिल इन द ब्लाइंड स्पॉट ऑफ और स्टेट यू नो बहुत एक्चुअली इट इज इट इज वेरी मच ओवर सो एज सच ऐसे कोई हॉट लाइन्स एंड हेल्पलाइंस तो नहीं है बट सिंस like i earlierly i earlier uh, mentioned family therapy mm -hmm. jaise abhi hum ye jo activity kar rahe hain basically hum awareness campaigns kar rahe hain so uh, people who will listen to these programs and such kind of sessions will actually be able to spot and help if their loved ones are suffering from screen addiction and the, the techniques and methodologies that we discussed here can be adopted by those loved ones or family members and they can help their uh, their patients their their loved ones for uh, the treatment of screen addictions to ek to isme ab state level pe ya phir government level pe to aisa kuch bhi nahi hai it's almost uh, uh, equal to nothing secondly uh, self help कोर्स सेल्फ हेल्प में बहुत सारा कुछ हो सकता है पीपल हु अल्टीमेटली रियलाइज के दे आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रीन एडिक्शन और दे हैव रियलाइज के दे हैव एक्सेसिव स्क्रीन टाइम व्हिच इज डिटरमिनेंटल टू देयर द क्वालिटी ऑफ देयर लाइफ एंड अदर एस्पेक्ट्स एंड एरियाज ऑफ देयर लाइफ और सेल्फ हेल्प की तरफ जा सकता है जैसे हमने पहले इस पे बातचीत की कि किस तरह के हम टेक्निक्स अडॉप्ट कर सकते हैं क्या थेरेपीज हम ले सकते हैं Uh, हम डिजिटल uh, डिटॉक्स uh, की तरफ जा सकते हैं डिजिटल लिटरेसी की तरफ जा सकते हैं हम अल्टरनेटिव यूफोरिक किस्म की एक्टिविटीज अपने लिए चूज कर सकते हैं एंड इफ यू लुक एट दोज पीपल हु आर इन टू स्क्रीन एडिक्शन तो प्री स्क्रीन एडिक्शन दे हैव हैड सो मैनी एक्टिविटीज दे वर इंजॉइंग 
uh, they had hobbies, they were engaging in, uh, in, in sports or they were engaging in social interactions, clubs mein the, kahin na kahin. To, आपको बहुत सारी इन्वेंटरी जब करते हैं तो उनके बहुत सारी बिहेवियर्स और आते हैं अल्टरनेटिव व्यू फॉर एक एंजॉयएबल एक्टिविटीज मिल जाएंगी जिनकी तरफ उनको पुश बैक किया जा सकता है फिर डिजिटल डिटॉक्स में जैसे हमने कहा कि उसमें हम एप्स यूज कर सकते हैं हम उसमें से ब्रेक्स ले सकते हैं वहां से और सो देयर आर सो मेनी वेज सेल्फ हेल्प हो सकता है फैमिली इंटरवेंशन इज अनदर वेरी इफेक्टिव फैक्टर सिंस इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग एट द स्टेट लेवल so it can happen at the family level since family is a fundamental unit of this society and family uh kyunki unke paas leverage bhi hai aur influence bhi hai jo ki state ke paas nahi hai so using that leverage and influence the family members can play a very vital and important role in helping their loved ones suffering from screen addiction or any form of addiction so family therapy family intervention family involvement family awareness and family's help can actually break it down to almost zero so family ne ye sab kuch karna hai unfortunately state level pe to aisa kuch nahi hai now you are absolutely right and um we do really suggest uh, based on our conversation that state does something about it कुछ करे के यू नो सम इवन सम हॉटलाइन सम इंफॉर्मेशन अब तो गुगल है बहुत यू नो वी हैव इंटरनेट एक्सेस अक्रॉस आवर कंट्री एंड दैट्स मे बी नॉट इन द रूरल एरियाज मे बी नॉट यू नो एवरीवेयर सब हर हर किसी के पास स्मार्टफोन्स नहीं होंगे बट यू नो पीपल हु डू हैव स्मार्टफोन्स दे वुड हैव स्क्रीन डिटेक्शन यू नो स्मार्टफोन्स और कंप्यूटर्स और टीवीज um and so we really uh, would love a government to be is cheez ke bare mein kuch karti hai even civil society is doing something uh, some amazing job on it um you know uh, on creating hotlines information sessions uh, uh, you know organize karati hai so that's excellent. an amazing excellent point jaise ek to humne baat ki na public awareness jo activity hum is waqt kar rahe hain so activities can be done on this level then the second thing that you mentioned is actually community programs and initiatives so right. local governments local governments and community organization they can develop programs that encourage outdoor activities sports social events that offer alternatives to screen time uh, digital detox ke camps lagaye ja sakte hain workshops right. lagaye ja sakte hain jo real world skills unko sikhaye aur unke interpersonal connection ko foster kare फिर स्कूल्स में जैसे हमने जिक्र किया स्कूल्स एंड वर्कप्लेस में हम पॉलिसीज बना सकते हैं जो हमने डिस्कस भी किया कि वहां पे क्लियर बाउंड्रीज हो स्क्रीन फ्री जोन हो स्क्रीन फ्री टाइम हो ब्रेक्स वो जो हमने टेक्निक इस्तेमाल की ट्वेंटी फाइव काम और फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक फिर सपोर्ट सर्विसेज लाइक जैसे आपने हॉटलाइन और उसकी बात की तो सपोर्ट सर्विसेज हम बना सकते हैं बहुत सारे उसमें ऑप्शन आ सकते हैं और इन सपोर्ट सर्विसेज को हम इंटीग्रेट कर सकते हैं एग्जिस्टिंग एग्जिस्टिंग जो मेंटल हेल्थ और कम्युनिटी सपोर्ट का जो हमारा फ्रेमवर्क है जितना भी वीक है लेकिन है उसके साथ हम फिर रिसर्च uh, और पॉलिसी डेवलपमेंट पे काम किया जा सकता है अनफॉर्चुनेटली जो नहीं हो रहा सो देर आर सो मेनी वेज दैट एज सोसाइटी वी कैन हैंडल दिस इशू ऑफ and that's a, that's amazing actually i love the idea of digital de- detox um i love the idea to different competitions uh, organize kara sakte hain because you know that's how we learn that's how we can do something in, uh, on an individual level um you know hamare capacity mein hamare uh, access mein kitni kya cheez hai aur uske hisab se hum we can all do it even people who are actually uh, listening to this session um you know can go uh, and tell their friends about it uh, you know people who do not um, uh, they do not uh, know anything about it you know they they are unaware um, about this um, sort of an abnormality you know unko wo bata sakte hain and uh, you know it, there's so much uh, to be done you know only limit is our imagination if that's what we say um, but yes i do believe even as a psychologist i i learned a lot Uh, from this session it was very very informative thank you so much sir for joining us i think abhi jo sun bhi rahe honge sare hamare fellows uh, and colleagues they would be uh, you know well informed comparatively you know well informed well aware um, about this uh, you know the existence of a screen addiction ke kya differences hain kyun ye nahi hai sirf you know this not just a stage talk it's not just a myth it's not just there um it's actually you know it has an neurological it has a it has a psychological basis you know patterns um under underlying it so i um i think it was very very informative thank you so much sir 